Hello guys. So in this video we will discuss about responsive versus adaptive design in a Flutter. So as you all know, Flutter is a framework that make application for all the OS that have Android, iOS, macOS, Linux, Windows, right? So basically we are just uh, differentiating between two of those. Uh, like they are a mobile phones or even they are a desktop right so as you all know mobile is just controlling by very different as compared to desktop like mobiles just controlling by our thumb gesture right and the desktop is controlling by our mouse so whenever we are creating application single code based application like flutter is uh, just uh, making application by single code base as you all know so how we can handle these two different thing and even these two different thing screen sizes is also different like if I am making a simple card so whenever I am creating a single page and inside of this card this showing in mobile phone is quite different as compared to desktop so how we can control right so for that thing we will discuss in this video about responsive and adaptive design so let's get start without further ado okay so first thing we have a responsive design so basically responsive design describe that ability to adopt to changing screen size uh, we can say that like uh, whenever you are making any application so your application layout must to be adjust on a different screen sizes and orientation so that user feel comfortable like uh, your app should be run on all type of devices including watches phone tablet as well as laptop and desktop so whenever it's run on a different devices uh, right we can take an example of watch and desktop so whenever it run on a watch it should very look to very small according to watch screen size and whenever it's run on a desktop so according to desktop screen size your application look very larger whatever desktop screen size to be so your single code base run on two different device according to screen size so basically this terminology explains responsiveness. Okay, so second thing we have adaptive design. So basically adaptive design means to be that your application should be have adaptiveness according to device specifications, right? Uh, we can say that like uh, it should be have platform specification thing, whatever device they are like uh, whenever your application is run on a mobile phone it's properly handled by our gesturing effect like uh, as you all know uh, our mobile phones is just running by our thumb gesture and also all the device specification things like uh, keyboard uh, gesturing effect and uh, for the desktop device they have a mouse gesture effect means all the platform specification thing your applications run by those thing properly okay so if we are deciding that uh, we are making application for responsiveness for all the OS so how we can make so they have, we have a lot of options in a flutter like uh, there is some kind of very simple option is like uh, layout builder widget we can make our applications by media query option as well we can also use aspect ratio as well and also we have some other options for third party libraries like uh, flutter screen util and uh, responsive sizer as well i'm just adding this link in description as well you just go there and check it out so first option is we have a layout builder widget so basically by this layout builder widget uh, some options we have like uh, i'm just saying a simple word there is builder property in a layout builder that can provide us with the box content object 
so which contains that constraint information for a particular widget basically uh, it's determined how our display should be rendered means uh, how actually its size should be rendered so we can use this screen information by this max width and max height so basically the screen size contain assigned to our widget which help to adjust the display accordingly Furthermore, uh, when this value change due to screen orientation, layout builder called our builder function which rebuild the widget based on new constraint like as you see uh, in uh, your screen. So whenever it's uh, about to 1200 means uh, it showing on a desktop. So it accordingly our widget is uh, again changing means uh, ultra widget layout is showing on this time but whenever you are just uh, application means your device screen size is quite uh, minimum like it's uh, about to 600 and below to 1200 so it runs on a wide layout and uh, your third condition is like uh, for mobile means uh, below to 600 so its narrow layout widget is just running on that condition second option is quite simple like uh, as you already know if you are a flutter application flutter developer so media query is quite simple and even we are using in lot of ways but uh, in a screen size management we can also help us so by this media query option we are not only able to getting with widget height, widget screen, but it's also uh, getting overall screen size and device orientation of our application at a runtime. So as soon as those configuration change, our build method will also run and uh, it ensure that uh, widget is updating according to our latest data. Like as you see in uh, your screen, like uh, I'm just uh, writing screen width and I'm just getting a, a screen width according to by this media query like uh, by this query I'm just getting width and uh, according whenever run time like whenever on a run time my screen size is changing it is also updating my code like it's a uh, about to 1200 my ultra width widget layout is basically running below about to 600 my wide layout is just showing about 300 my narrow layout is just showing and uh, below that my ultra narrow layout is just running on that time and uh, third option is we have aspect ratio basically this aspect ratio uh, just uh, we are using on a lot of ways uh, even i am just Taking a simple example like uh, whenever you are just uh, showing multiple images in a grid way. So this widget is quite important on that time. So basically with this aspect ratio you can size the child according to your set aspect ratio. Uh, basically first the widget tries to be widest width accord allows that layout constraint is uh, allowing them basically using this given aspect ratio the widget height is calculating as ratio of the widget height width height uh, means uh, like in simple word we can say like if you are showing a uh, three widget in your screen so aspect ratio is just getting a uh, total height and width and according to that your images is showing like if they are showing a uh, three images means your mobile is supporting three images at a time so their aspect ratio is just allowing them and uh, three images showing in a single particular row but whenever is updating means your screen size may be on a desktop so it's allowing to five to six images and even above that so other options we also have apart from this aspect ratio layout build widget and media query 
वी है ऑप्शन फॉर अ ओरिएंटेशन बिल्डर वी है ऑप्शन फॉर अ लेआउट बिल्डर वी है ऑप्शन फॉर फिल्टेड बॉक्स फ्रैक्शनल साइज बॉक्स मीडिया क्वेरी मीडिया क्वेरी डेटा कस्टम साइज चाइल्ड लेआउट कस्टम मल्टी चाइल्ड लेआउट सो दिस ऑल द विजिट्स ऑल्सो हेल्प अस टू मेकिंग और अप्लीकेशन रिस्पॉन्सिवनेस सो दिस आर द इजिएस्ट अप्रोच इन अ फ्लटर टू मेक यूर अप्लीकेशन रिस्पॉन्सिव बट देर ऑल्सो अदर ऑप्शन ऑल्सो है लाइक थर्ड पार्टी लाइब्रेरी वी कैन से दे फ्लटर स्क्रीन यूटिल पैकेज सो बाय दिस पैकेज यू कैन ऑल्सो मेक यूर अप्लीकेशन रिस्पॉन्सिव एंड ऑल्सो दे हो रिस्पॉन्सिव साइजर पैकेज आई एम जस्ट एडिंग दिस लिंक इन अ डिस्क्रिप्शन यू जस्ट गो देर एंड चेक इट आउट ओके सो सेकेंड थिंग भी है एडाप्टिव डिजाइन सो एस इफ वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस बिफोर दैट एडाप्टिव डिजाइन मीन्स टू बी योर एप्लीकेशन शुड बी रन बाय प्लेटफॉर्म स्पेसिफिकेशन थिंग्स सो इन अ फ्लटर हाउ यू कैन राइट सो इन अ फ्लटर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी डेवलप योर एप्लीकेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू डिवाइस स्पेसिफिकेशन थिंग देर इज सम काइंड ऑफ विजिट एंड देर इज सम काइंड ऑफ ऑप्शंस दैट हेल्प यू टू क्रिएट योर एप्लीकेशंस बाय दिस एडोप्टिवनेस सो देर इज लॉट ऑफ ऑप्शंस वी विल डिस्कस सम ऑफ देम दे आर क्वाइट इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड लेट के स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट एज यू सी माई स्क्रीन I am just scrolling by this screen by my mouse, and uh, whenever I am just scroll my cursor to my image, uh, there is some kind of uh, uh, animations are showing, and whenever I am scrolling to down, their animation is uh, invisible, right? So how you can do in your application, your Flutter application, basically? so as you see my screen there is one mouse region which it is there so what exactly you need to be do so by this mouse cursor widget uh you can just uh, handle by this cursor option there is a child option when where you are just gesture widget is just adding there and uh, on tap is also options whenever you just uh, want to any kind of options or maybe any kind of uh, animation if you want to add on a clicking on this and also there is some kind of on enter on exit and on however option is there basically it help us to whenever you are just uh, scrolling by your mouse it able to updating your state accordingly whenever just entering your particular widget you are exit to particular widget any widget so these options help you right so there is some kind of uh, uh, animations is just showing i'm just taking example just see my screen so let's come get just jump to our second option drag and drop right so basically drag and drop is some kind of things is a uh, very simple like you just in a desktop you just drag and drop any particular item to any screen so drag and drop is a core intersection for both touch base on a pointer based input uh, when you are scrolling list or dragging item there is important difference to be considered and even thought the interaction is expected for both type of inputs uh basically a drag handle in generally expected to separate it draggable area from scrollable ones and you just drag to a long pressing uh because of scrolling to dragging both same finger both input is just simultaneously just running there so you can also do this in flutter as well and uh, there is option for a scrollable appearance so just adding like uh, as you see in uh, right corner you can also add this in flutter there is option is also in there and uh, then we have option for a visual density option is also there basically uh, uh we can say that like uh, in 
due to the different level of precision offered different input sizes uh whenever you just hit area any of different screen size uh by the visual density class flutter permit you to easily adjust the density of your view thought of your application uh such as making button larger and uh, of your touch screen uh basically material component that help to your visual density and animation to match your changes according to your visual density of your material by default uh, both horizontal and vertical density are set to be 0.0 but uh, whenever you just uh, can make to set the density to any negative or point positive value if you want you can just easily adjust your ui by switching between this density i am just uh, taking example in my screen as well you just see this and uh, then we have option for a selectable text uh, selectable text is a uh, quite important like a uh, lot of time we are just copy any kind of text for any web website so if we want to doing same thing for our application as well so this widget is helping us so it quite simple we just uh, using a uh, selectable text widget and uh, this widget inside of all the text we just write so by this widget we can easily make any kind of selectable text widget so this all the options are help us to making our application as a adaptiveness okay so that's all about my information about responsive versus adaptive design in a flutter so if you like this video just clicking on a like button and also please subscribe if you just helping out me and also just comment below if you just want to add some further more information so that's all about it uh thank you for your time have a good day